Can hyperbaric oxygen help somebody with POTS? We're gonna cover that in this next video. So what is POTS? POTS is postural, meaning something to do with your body position, orthostatic, typically when you're upright, tachycardia, increased or elevated heart rate syndrome. So it's a syndrome where patients who go from either sitting typically or lying to standing start to get a very rapid heart rate, typically over 100 beats per minute, may also be associated with a drop in blood pressure simultaneously. Our heart rate and blood pressure, as it relates to our body position, is typically regulated through the autonomic nervous system and through our adrenal glands, which is what handles our stress response. So our stress response and our autonomic nervous system is in charge of increasing heart rate and blood pressure when we change our body position. It should make sense that our blood pressure and heart rate could be lower when you're laying down and relaxing and should for some period of time increase as we go vertical against gravity and then should decrease and calm down. Patients with POTS have a overactive sympathetic nervous system, typically. It's a dysautonomia or a, a dysregulation of the autonomic nervous system, leading to an overreactive response to that positional change. And the question is, is there a role for hyperbaric oxygen for patients suffering from POTS? Like almost every other condition we've talked about on our channel, Number one, hyperbaric is not a cure or even a treatment directly for POTS. So I wanna make sure that that's clear. Number two, we're not really treating the disease itself anyway. We're really just supplying the body with oxygen. So the question is, will oxygen help these people? And then number three, it's never virtually alone. So when we talk about complex therapies for very complex patients, Oftentimes, the best approach is to combine a few different well-known therapies that help to create synergy. And within that synergy, can we find even greater response or greater value for the patient suffering from whichever condition we're talking about? Now, the next question is, is it appropriate to apply hyperbaric oxygen therapy in these cases? And my opinion is the answer is yes. Why is that? Well, I said earlier that POTS is a dysautonomia. It's an dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. And over the past handful of months, we've done other videos on other dysautonomias. And in fact, hyperbaric oxygen therapy has this autonomic nervous system component to it where it seems to increase parasympathetic tone. What does that mean? Our stress response, nicknamed fight or flight, that's part of the sympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is part of your autonomic nervous system in charge of the stress response. The nickname given to the parasympathetic nervous system is rest and digest. So it's the opposing side of the autonomic nervous system. And in reality, most patients with chronic illness and most patients with POTS have an imbalance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic leg of the autonomic nervous system. In general, most patients have lower parasympathetic tone because they have such elevated sympathetic tone. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create balance between those two. Hyperbaric therapy is one of those treatments that has the ability to raise parasympathetic tone. As we raise parasympathetic tone, it often has an opposing reduction in sympathetic tone as a result. And so it helps to create balance in the autonomic nervous system because of that. In cases of patients who are suffering from POTS, they are almost always very complex. There's no simple or singular answer. And so we will use hyperbaric oxygen. Combined with hyperbaric oxygen is often other therapies that are gonna help modulate the nervous system. That may include things like neurological rehab, which we're huge proponents of. With that, we could also combine nutritional therapies and certain supplements that also help to balance the nervous system. We could also use other therapies that help with balancing the vasculature, like hot and cold therapies. And so what we want to do is we want to reteach the body how to balance that autonomic nervous system, and we want to use modalities that have opposing effects on the autonomic nervous system to help very gently and very slowly stimulate different arms, helping the body to find that balance again. But of course, yes, hyperbaric oxygen could and should be considered as part of that broad approach to patients with postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Thanks again for your time and attention. We are always putting out as much relevant content as we can. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to share those with us. We actually make a lot of these videos from the comments that we receive. So thanks again for your attention and we'll see you next time. Whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath 
or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.